did you sign on those dotted lines? Why did you go to MEPS if you don't take it personal one night time? If it's a one night, don't take it personal. subscriber what's good what's popping how you doing okay how y'all doing i'm good yeah, girl. <laughs> this is lovely okay this is lovely but today it is troops tuesday so you know sis have to come with a little information okay this is ready to inform <laughs> so um, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell them I'm Vitaly Anti. Tell them that your girl Key got it going on over here, okay? And as J Vibes always say, big period, okay? Troops Tuesday's topic is gonna be what females should pack for basic training, okay? Like, while you in, like, it's not what, you, well, I shouldn't say what you should pack, but, like, what you should, like, expect it for females, what to do and what not to do, in a sense, for females in basic training. I must speak about the little, speak about us. I don't even know why I said things that females should pack. That's not even the topic. The topic is tips for females who want to join. I had so much going on at this point. Ooh sweet jesus but yeah the topic is tips for females who want to join the army i only know about the army so i'm only going to speak about the army but yeah let's get right into today's video so the first thing is what to prep for basic training i did a whole video on that so i'm going to put the link to that video up top here it's also going to be in the description box down below but for basic training you do not need to pack your whole house i am begging you females do not pack your whole house pack what you are wearing that is like i'm so serious what i mean pack what you're wearing whatever you're wearing that's pretty much all you need if you need to get like travel size shampoo and all that stuff cool kudos to you you could get it soap deodorant cool you could bring it travel size but more than likely they are going to take that stuff away from you reason being because a lot of it is scented and being out in the field and stuff like that, you don't need all that scented stuff for all those bugs and stuff to be attracted to you. So they're going to take you to the PX or to the shopette, wherever they have clothing and sales, whatever they have to get you stuff. Like I said before, they're going to give you a cash card. Maybe guy, please don't think, please do not think that it is free money. That $350 that is on that cash card is coming out your check the next time, okay? So when you get out of basic, look at your LES for while you was in basic. And you're going to see that that $350 was deducted for your cash card. It's not free money. On to the next topic, please. Um, make sure you're in shape. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, like, they have that future soldier program for a reason and is go to that program because a lot of you y'all never did sports in high school or y'all was not physically active in high school and a lot of y'all right now are coming straight out of high school and y'all never did those type of activities in high school and stuff like that so go to that that's what it's there for the army is changing now okay so go to that future soldier program that you're at your recruiting station or that comes to your high school or whatever because they're going to work the dog shit out of you in basic. Like, I'm so serious. They're going to work the dog shit out of you. And don't take anything personal. Speaking of that, that's another tip. Do not take anything personal. 
please i am begging you ladies and gents as well to don't take nothing personal don't take it personal don't take it personal but yeah don't take nothing personal like they're here to do a job and so are you and like our uh drill science always told us the fastest way to um the fastest way to get out of basic is to graduate like honestly because they're going to waste your time another tip is do not refuse to train do not refuse to train i am so serious and i don't know how to stress it i honestly don't know how to stress it do not refuse to train because trust me your drill sergeants i've seen them do it to people your drill sergeants will leave you there let all your body bodies graduate probably two or three more cycles there to graduate before you forget to get up and go leave so you might as well have just trained went to ait and went to your, your unit because by the time you're done you would it, they're gonna hold you there okay i promise you maybe not now they're going to send you home quick 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 but trust me when i was there and back then they would hold you there for cycles just so you could watch everybody graduate and you just sit there and do nothing because you can't what you can you do because once they put you on that dead man that dead man's profile you're not gonna be able to do it. you're gonna go with them everywhere they go but you're gonna just sit down there and be bored not doing anything don't be that person do not honestly do not be that person at all okay don't be that person what's the next thing now the next tip is like i said don't get in your feelings it is nothing personal it's all business all business nothing personal the next thing is <laughs> this is actually funny to me but honestly all jokes aside don't bring your attitude females we're known to have a lot of attitude and whatnot don't bring it okay don't bring it because not everybody's basic is going to be the same and not everybody's going to tolerate your attitude not everybody's going to adapt to you i mean they don't have to adapt to you but my thing is just don't just don't like don't bring it honestly don't bring it do not bring it okay you're gonna learn the hard way don't bring it trust me like if there's one person you must trust about this attitude thing is me Ooh, trust me don't bring that attitude okay now bring them um, please i'm begging y'all do not bring it i can't stress enough don't bring it just don't okay um do not be that female and what i mean by not being that female is Oh, you too cute to do something. Don't do that. Like, don't nobody like you like that. They want a team player because trust me. Let me tell you a little secret. That's how you get your ass beat at night in the beds. Trust me. Okay? Don't be that team player. If everybody get up and say, okay, cool, but don't be that one person. There's always one person in the brunch. Don't be that one person. Please. Just for basic sake, just don't be that one person that you think you're too cute to do everything. If you feel like okay, you just don't want to do it, you just don't want to do it, but you, you whatever, just don't. Okay, cool, fine with that. But don't be that female who think, oh, well, I don't want to get dirty. And girl, you might as well get dirty. Like, you might as well. Like, if you just say straight, okay, you know what, I just, I just don't feel like doing it or whatever. That, that I mean, don't say that. But that's like, that's way much better than saying, oh, you don't want to get dirty. Huh? Why you join? Why did you tell the recruiter yes? Why did you sign on those dotted lines? Why did you go to MEPS if you're not going to get dirty? I know you've seen plenty of videos of people getting down and dirty, low crawling, high crawling, in the mud, sand, water, rain, hail. But when it's your turn, you ain't want to go do it. Girl, if you don't carry on, because... Like, just 
get down and dirty. If you, I can understand if you say like, you know, there's like, okay, let's say for instance, obstacles. You just like, I'm just, I'm just not in the mood to do it. I just don't want to do it. That's like, that's okay to me, like for real. But if you want to do it because you want to look cute, girl, you gonna get your ass chewed out, and you really gonna wish you had just got down in that dirt and did it. The next thing. Don't bring your makeup, your good up, good up makeup. Do not bring your good, expensive makeup to basic, okay? Do not do it. Don't do it. You may be bad looking and the drill sergeant is going to toss that in the trash. Maybe you may be lucky and the drill sergeant tell you, okay, you know what, you could keep it in your bag. But, um, sis, what you going there to look cute for, like I said before? Nothing. So leave that makeup. On family day and graduation day, you can wear it. Yes, you can wear makeup in uniform. But in basic, you really don't want to. Because all that stuff on your face, and then you're going to be like down in the dirt and all that stuff, it's not good for your skin. So I advise you not to do that. Please, I'm begging you. Just don't bring the makeup. Leave the makeup at home until you get an AIT. And then you can start busting out a full face beat. Like, I mean, don't bust out a full face beat because you're not supposed to in your uniform. But what I'm saying is, just don't do it in basic. It's pointless. You don't need makeup in basic because your face is going to break out horrible. Your face going broke out bad. It is going to break out bad so please i'm begging you don't do it to yourself just don't like honestly just do, don't do it to yourself okay i got two more yeah it should be just two more because yes it is two more this next one is take a shower please Wash your kin. Go take a shower. Please, I am begging you. Go and take a shower. <laughs> okay? Go take a shower. Please. Please go take a shower. I can't. That's another thing. Y'all need to wash out. Anyways, go take a shower. Wash your skin, okay? You're going to be in that dirt, and then you're going to go straight into your bed. Like, that's so nasty. All those germs for what? Please, just... Please take a shower. Please. I'm begging you. And ladies, if you're on your period as well, that's, that's the time you really, really need to take a shower, okay? You really... You take a shower because you're gonna smell like fish and don't nobody want nobody standing next to them smelling like fish so please take a shower and the last and final thing is to my ladies of dark skin color and your hair this is for your hair like I'm gonna speak on hair specifically but first it's gonna be dark if you have other, how to say, like your hair is, I don't know how to ex, if you, you know how your hair stay, okay? If you have a hair that is hard to manage, come with like protective styles, please. Come with like protective styles, okay? Because those Joe Sargents, they're going to roast you. For you not being able to put your hair properly. And it's not anything that you can control most of the time. We can't control the way how our hair, we, the hair we get on our head. You know? So come with protective styles. Braids. You can come with Senegalese twists. Box braids. I mean, you could come with weave. But it's not really recommended because you're not going to be able to, like, wash your hair properly. And you're in basic for, what, 10 weeks? Just don't do it. You could do cornrows. Just get a protective style that you know is going to be easier for you. Okay? Females in general just need to keep their hair neat because we are already not welcomed in the military. We are already, we're, we're not welcome in the military. Y'all know this. Females have it harder 
in the military than men. They don't want us in their military. So you have to work as hard. You have to make sure you're much more presentable, okay? So as females, take care of your hair properly. Anybody can come with protective style. It's not just skin, uh, females of darker skin complexion. Anybody can come with a protective style. So do yourself a favor and come with a protective style. Come with limited style, because you're gonna have the chance to go to buy hair supplies and stuff like that. People say, oh, we should just use gel, but it's not all products is good with some people here. Certain products are good with some people here, and they don't have all those products in um, in basic. So I advise you to just come in a protective style. It's much more better. It's much better, and it's much easier. So, yeah, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, video. Oh, video. Oh, video. Bye, guys. Um, in today's video, 